Well, hello, adventurers, and greetings to another training session of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 brought to you by the Letter Tape. If you watched the Mega Falls video, you will be familiar with this. Now, you may have thought, how in the world did he make the park so big that there's this jungle out here, this island? The thing is, this can be changed, this background. That is what I'll be showing you how to do now. What you're going to want to do is in the main screen of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, you've got Play, Tools, and Options. Go ahead and click on Tools, and within these options, you're going to do Scenario Editor. So go ahead and click on that and then let that load. So once that's loaded, you're going to see what looks pretty familiar in sandbox mode or to what you see in sandbox mode, but you're going to have these other options here. Now the only one we're going to really focus on at this time is set park options. So if I click on that, uh, and you've got these icons here where if we click on landscape settings, background. Uh, if I change the view a little bit right now, this is the default, the hill. Click on the drop down, and here you have mountains, desert, snow, hill, which we already saw, island, spooky, space, and city. So if you've ever seen videos about the folks that just had these different backgrounds, now you know how they did it. Well, at least part of it. Now something else I want to show you at this time is also under Park Settings, which is right next to Landscape Settings, Park Settings, there's Climate. And with the climate, it changes things. Now in Spooky, I think it does uh, kind of like a strange lightning. Uh, it might be the same in Martian, I haven't really tested these. Tropical Island, uh, there's going to be some rain. So you'll just have to kind of test with these. But you can get different weather effects within your video and within your park by changing this. What you see or don't see is probably going to be dependent on your video card. But so once again, that's just within Park Options. And then these two, the Landscape and the Park Settings. So let's just go ahead and choose winter for the climate and for the background, we will do snow. Now what you need to do is save this. So if you go into files and options, save game, rather than new scenario, scenario, choose parks and then give it a name and let's just call it snow and save that. So now what you want to do is back out to the main menu and keep going back. Now, when you go to play, sandbox mode, load game, you will have the one you created. So we'll go ahead and load that one. Then, once it's loaded, well, looky here. Brrr, cold. But there's your uh, background. 